good morning children welcome to today's physics class today's class will continue learning about chapter light so today we will learn about lenses children so we are going to learn about concave and convex lens before learning about the lens just we will revise what we learnt in the previous class you all know that we learnt about the three types of mirrors plane mirrors concave mirrors and convex mirrors you all know that a highly polished surface will act as a mirror now see this new term lens let us find out what is this actually what and what are these concave and convex lenses children before understanding about the lenses you need to know about the another process happens when light rays travels from one medium to another medium that is refraction so you all know that when light rays strikes on a highly polished surface almost most of the rays will gets reflected that is bouncing back of light rays when it travels from one optical medium to another optical medium we already we know that it is called as reflection and the reflection depends upon the surface whether it is smooth surface or the rough surface it decides how the reflection is going to happen either specular or diffused now see the another process when light rays travels from one medium to another medium they will there will be a, another change takes place in the light rays that is the bending of light rays so refraction is nothing but bending of light rays when it they travel when it travels from one medium to another medium in the picture you can see the beam of light is made to pass through a glass slab actually it is so when it is made to pass through when it is made when it is made, uh, changing the medium that is from the air medium to glass medium you can see slightly the rays of light is getting bent so this bending of light rays is called as refraction just you remember about the reflection so when the rays reflect when the rays incident rays strikes the polished surface that at the point of incidence we have drawn the normal same way here also when the normal is drawn you can see the light rays is bending away from the normal so that is called refraction children so refraction even when in a glass of water if you keep a pencil and you observe from far you will you will be able to see that the pencil is slightly bent that is that is due to refraction so refraction is bending of the light rays when it is traveling from one medium to another medium whether it is bending towards the normal or away from the normal normal is drawn from the point of incidence yes no children so that depends upon the medium from the which medium to which medium it is traveling depends upon that it may bend towards the normal or it may bend away from the normal so this in detail you will be learning when you go to higher classes by now you should know what is refraction of light bending of light rays when they are traveling from one medium to another medium so why this is connected to the our topic that is lens so let us see what are lenses so you all might have seen your grandparents spectacles or your parents spectacles or your friends spectacles and also you might be you might have played with a magnifying glass at home so magnifying glass when you use a magnifying glass you can see that the when you want to read something using a magnifying glass you can see that it will enlarge the print on the textbook yes and also in the lab in our school science lab or whenever you go for a blood test you can see people there a microscope and they will be examining something using the microscope yes no children so these all are how it is magnifying how the using a magnifying glass how are we able to magnify the print on the textbook so that is due to the it is just if when you touch and see see after this class also you can take your parents or anybody's spectacles and you can just you can touch and see how is that how it is the lens how it is so you can just you can see it is just a piece of glass but it is a spherical glass and it is going to uh, magnify or diminish the 
image formed due to that when the light rays are made to pass through it. So lenses are transparent. See, not only highly polished surface, you can see your image. Image, again, you all know what is an image. So even the transparent surfaces, no children, transparent surfaces also form clear images. Do you agree or not? So transparent surfaces also form clear images. Earlier we learned about the highly polished surface. Now I am talking about the transparent materials like glass, plastic also form clear images and the how the image will be, whether it is going to be real or virtual, that depends upon the, that depends upon the lens. So the, here again we are having two types of spherical lenses. Just you can see there are two types of lenses. Both are a part of a sphere. That's why both are spherical lenses as we learned in the mirrors. So one you can see that converging like convex lens and the concave lens. Convex lens you can see how the picture is and it is just a piece of glass and see the particular shape. It is thicker in the middle and thinner at the edges. When you take a concave lens, it is thinner in the middle and thicker at the edges. Due to this shape, the, the image formation, whether it is going to magnify the image or it is going to uh, form a real or virtual image depends upon this shape. So two types of lenses, convex and concave. So lenses are nothing but they are some, they are spherical glasses and uh, due to the process of refraction when light rays are made to pass through these lenses they will bend and due to this bending of light rays we will see how the image formation is going to happen see here so like this as i told you from anyone's uh, spectacles you can touch and see or if you have a magnifying glass at home you can touch and see how are the lenses you will see that it's just a piece of glass but you will be seeing that concave lens will be thinner at the middle and thicker at the edges and convex lens will be thicker at the middle and thinner at the edges when you understand this it will be easy for you to learn further about the concave and convex lens next see here it is also the convex normally because see here children mirror and lens just you observe the picture and you can understand mirror one of the surface was as i told you it is painted and one only is the reflecting surface but here you see both the surfaces both the surfaces well here is not reflecting their refraction is going to take place it, it is just a piece of glass and both the surfaces are as such only just a piece of glass so here convex why it is called as biconvex because you can see both two surfaces and uh, two surfaces they have and both are having both the surfaces you can it's a glass surface and you can see that it is bulged in the middle thicker in the middle and thinner at the edges and in the in the case of biconcave also both the surfaces are concave only thinner in the middle and thicker at the end here convex both the surfaces are thicker in the middle and thinner at the edge this is the basic difference between the convex and concave lens let us see how the image formation takes place in both the lens first you concentrate on the convex lens convex lens is spindle shape as it is thicker in the middle than at the edges simple words and see when light rays passes through this convex lens see there they will bend inwards they will bend inwards and they will meet at a point i told you the shape is going to matter how the image is going to form so here in the convex lens you can see the light rays they will after they pass through Due to refraction, they will bend, but they will bend inwards here. When you take the concave mirror, it is thinner in the middle and thicker at the edges. But here, when the light rays enter through this concave lens, they again, they will also take bend, but they will bend outwards. So, basic difference, in the convex, the light rays will converge at a point. In the concave, they will diverge. They will diverge outwards. Here, they will converge inwards. That is why convex lens is called as converging. Converging means they, they are bending inwards. 
concave lens is called as diverging because they they will diverge they will move they will bend outwards they will bend outwards now again a clear picture showing that how the light rays converge at a point when it passes through a convex lens and the same way how it gets diverge that is that is bending outwards simple words bending inwards bending outwards this is bending only refraction of light why it is bending because it is made to pass through one optical medium to another optical medium dip the speed of light is varying here children when you try to what is the uh, reason for this the speed of light is getting changed from when it is traveling from one medium to another medium that is why this bending is happening now let us see here you see this is what type of lens children convex just the middle part it is bulged and it is convex now when you keep a candle flame and you can see the screen is also kept and they are able to get the image on the screen so what is that image then it is a real image and you can see it is inverted also so real image will be inverted and you can see that when they are moving the when the object and the source of light is kept closer you can see there is a magnified magnified means the enlarged image is seen the second picture shows shows that it is a, it is able to form an enlarged image so coming back to the the point previously what we discussed magnifying glass at home we are using to in the print whatever print is there in the textbook to magnify and see now you tell me what type of lens it is yes it is a convex lens because you are able to find out the magnified image but not only the this is a real image not only real image you will surprise to know that even convex lens will be able to form not only the real image also it will form the virtual image when see this when the lens is kept uh, lens and the only the a candle that is the object is kept closer you will be able to get the virtual image in the on the lens you can see the virtual image and it is it is a it is also an enlarged image it is a virtual image so convex lens can form both real and virtual depending upon the position where the object and the by changing the position of the object and the source of light you can source of light and also the uh, screen as it is as it is in the real image formation we will be getting both a convex lens can form both real and also the virtual image but when you take a concave lens concave lens at any point you can keep on changing the position of the object and the lens you will be all the or at all position we will be able to get only the virtual image so this is clearly explained in your same only in your textbook also this is given in your textbook 185 page number you can see there are four pictures are there first second and third clearly they are illustrating the image formation in the convex lens so convex lens the first two pictures shows it is for it is able to we are able to get a real image because there is a screen and it is inverted also and the third picture shows it is able to form virtual image also when the lens and the object are very close in the position of the lens and by adjusting that we are able to get the virtual image but in the case of concave lens whatever the position might be you keep on changing the position of the lens and the object we will be able to always it forms only the virtual virtual means erect image it forms and it will be a smaller in size and a sharp image will be formed using this lens so depending upon this image formation both the lenses are used as i told you uh, spectacles and uh, microscope already we discussed microscope also what how the microscope is able to we are able to magnify and see when you want to see uh, um, uh, the different slides and all last year also you might have done or this year uh, you might have learning in the biology also so that is because the lens in that only is magnifying and showing apart from the binoculars you might have played with the binocular so using a binocular you can see the far away uh, things yes no children the same way telescope you have learned about the telescope all these have the different types of lenses spectacles what we use depending upon the eye defect what we have even magnifying or enlarging or 
it helps to rectify the problem what the person has and this lens will help us to see properly now see now again it is the convex and concave lens again you understand convex lens how it will be concave lens and the image formation converging at a point and diverging that is why the convex lens can form both real and virtual concave lens as it is getting diverged and it is always it forms only the virtual image now see your children how are they useful okay we learnt about this how are they useful users of convex lens magnifying glass and also in the microscope concave lens they will form virtual image so that and a very sharp image so that they can be used as a spy hole in the doors and also they are used in the as flashlights flashlights it can be used these are the uses even some more uses also there which you are you can find out two more uses you can find for each now here this is the question for you see the first part it is thicker at the edges than in the middle it can form only a virtual image it can form only a diminished means smaller size image so we are what is it about which lens are we talking about in the first case children thicker at the edges thinner in the middle virtual image only it will form it is a concave lens second part it is thicker in the middle than the edges it can form real and as well as virtual it can form a magnified diminished or the same size related to the object where you are keeping the object depending upon that it can form real and virtual as we discussed earlier that is nothing but the convex lens next now see here this was already by uh, we discussed that here you can see the how the image is formed the virtual uh, real image that is inverted image using a convex lens it can form this real and also the virtual image now so now finally here is a question for you children which type of lens always forms a virtual image so we learnt about two types of lenses concave and convex so which type of lens forms always a virtual image no doubt the question and try to find out the answer why convex lens is called as converging lens so for that also you need to find out the answer so let us see let us see the image formation in the uh, uh, both the lenses once and then you will be yeah this is the these all are the things which we have learned so far now see here this image i want to show you again this is the ray diagram ray diagram which will like which which you have to see and which you have to copy as such and you should learn how the light rays are made to pass through the lens and how they are why the convex lens is called as converging lens for that question you need to draw that first picture and then only you can you can explain that as the rays are converging that they are moving inwards and they converge at a point it is called as converging lens yes children so again convex and concave lens and also here while you are learning about the differences it was clearly it was mentioned about the concave lens they can form only virtual image and here it is already it also explained that the convex lens can form both real and virtual image and which is thicker at the edge which is thinner at the edge this first of all you have to understand so these points are for the differences between concave and convex lens and as you showed the ray diagram that also should be uh, drawn neatly using a scale and pencil and then only it will be easy for you to understand so copy the two questions and also the ray diagrams and uh, first of all after this complete two three times you read the textbook from the textbook page number 183 to 185 you have to learn so that you will be able to answer these two questions and also the questions at the back and also you have two activities children activity uh, 15.9 in page number 184 that is one uh, using this lens how you can how it is converging and how it is diverging to understand that is a simple activity this you can try and you can send me the do it uh, you can you can write it on an a4 sheet and you can send me the pics again i repeat concave and convex lens we have discussed today 
and you should know what are the what are concave and convex lenses and how are the images formed and also we should know the differentiation and how are they where are they useful so learn and be thorough with this talk with this today's topic and be ready for the next class children Yeah, I'm